Greetings, fellow conquerors, and welcome back to Byzantium, where my recording software decided to, instead of letting me unpause the recording and thus resume a new game, you know, like in the same recording, uh, it crashed EU4 and I had to start a completely new session. But anyway, here we are. New, new Byzantium run. Uh, currently our rivals are Serbia, Genoa, and Tunis. Okay, reasonable. Uh, Hungary, Poland, and Austria have rivaled the Ottomans. Okay, fairly prodigious. Uh, can we ourselves rival the Ottomans? Yes, we can. Great. I guess we'll rival Serbia back. And... Sure. Uh, let's... Let's rival Tunis, I guess, because... I don't want to fight Genoa at any point, since they're technically part of the HRE still, uh, which means fighting them would likely, you know, to destroy us and end our lives miserably. Uh, we do this time have a, uh, you know, level one diplomatic uh, advisor, which is pretty great. Um, but we're going to immediately start improving relations with Poland once again to try to get an alliance, and we will do the same with Austria. We almost had it with Austria last time, um, but then we were robbed by the Venetians, so, uh, you know, that sucks. Okay, let's see. So our missions, uh, let's take Reclaim Yanya once again. And uh, yeah, so we're improving relations with those two countries. Very good. Let's train some Eastern Knights, some Eastern Medieval Infantry. Now it's possible that even though this start is pretty prodigious, that the Ottomans might just come in and kill us. So, uh, you know, anything's, anything's possible. Anything could happen here in the world of EU4. It all depends on what mission they take. Doesn't appear that they've taken the mission to uh, reclaim the city of World's Desire, so, you know, good start. Not dying is generally very nice. Those are my trade ships. I do this so often. When, only when I'm recording do I, like, aha, I will transport my troops using trade boats, even though they could probably do that because they're all boats. You know. <laughs> All right. Uh, we're gonna lose some money because we own two forts, and life is painful. Um, we're gonna go ahead and dump some early development into these provinces to help improve our, uh, you know, economic situation. It also makes us look better. You know, make, makes us look like a more appealing ally. I would say. Oh. Our heir has died. Well, our current leader is 52, so <laughs> this is less than ideal. It's fine. All right, Ottomans have warned us. They're going to regret that. They really are, after we annihilate them. Now, thankfully, the Ottomans are busy with uh, Albania first, so we're probably going to be able to pretty easily... Oh! <laughs> you know, I wish I could say I was upset about losing a 2-2-2 for a 4-2-1, but I'm not at all upset about it. So, we get a new, we get a new king. Constantinos the 11th already. It's a pretty long dynasty. Uh, Kofaras. And we get land leader shock plus one. Ooh. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Good thing we have that plus one to land leader shock because otherwise these would be some of the worst generals I've ever seen. Hey, gained fifty admin. Good. We can get our stability back up to zero, which is pretty nice. Man, if I only if only I'd had that stability cost reduction from our national ideas. Whew. You know, I don't really care about the Ottomans' opinion of us, but this event to give us 10% national tax modifier, I think we absolutely uh, pick up. I think the Ottomans have claimed one of our provinces, unfortunately. Um, they have reclaimed the last Crusader Bastion, though, which was... I don't even know what that gives them a claim on, but... Um, looks like we will be able to get the alliance with Poland pretty easily. Uh, they did just get Lithuania under their wing, so... It's very interesting. We'll see what happens. Um, unfortunately, an alliance with the Austrians may be more impossible than we thought. Uh, 
All right, Poland. Now, unfortunately, our legitimacy is zero at the moment, uh, which hurts our diplomatic reputation, makes it less likely that we're going to be able to get the uh, diplomatic actions that we're going to want here. Um, but I think we can still swing the alliance with Poland. Ooh, yeah, there we go. And that is beautiful. However, what I don't know is if that... I think that's going to make an alliance with the Austrians impossible, yeah. Um, especially because the Hungarians have also uh, rivaled Poland. They, you know, if they attack and kill Poland, like, we're kind of in a pickle. Um, they have decided to attack the, uh, the Teutons. Uh, we get a queen who's 30 years old to our 20-year-old king. All right, you know, sure, not here to judge. Ooh, Liberty Desire and Subjects goes up. I don't think that actually affects... Yeah, because she's the queen and she's not actually um, in power yet. But hey, it's all good. Um, I think we will keep improving relations with Hungary because they have rivaled the Ottomans. Um, if we can get Hungary and Poland and Lithuania against the Ottomans, I think it's no... Seeing the real you. Aww. She turns around. She looks at you. Have you prayed lately, Constantinos? The question underscores the distance between you that for the past year has been growing. I think you should. I do. Almost every night. You laugh. For all her human flaws, she is still your wife. Oh, hey, just because she's Polish. God. I mean, you know, what do we expect from... I mean, we are Romans, but still. She draws closer, the hint of a smile spreading across her face. What are you laughing at, Constantinos? I just realized how much you mean to me. We get a noble of the Kofaras family with a strong claim. He's a 2 and 2 but it's a strong claim, and our legitimacy is currently 8. So we're going to take it. Let's see. Get a skill 2 statesman. 50% cheaper to employ. Um... Or we could get 50 Diplo Power. I think we take the Diplo Power. Uh, we get Manuel. Sure, he seems as good of an heir as any. I'm going to improve Constantinople once again. Just get us a little bit more money. Um, we're going to work to get our alliance here with the Hungarians. Which will help act as a buffer between them. As the Polish, you know, continue to crush the uh, Teutonic Order, as we can see. That, look at that blob. Alright, so... Yeah, I think we're going to keep using our admin power to develop our uh, our capital, because... You know, that's, that's first of all, we're getting plenty of admin points. Um, our first war, we're not going to spend any, because we're just going to take cores back. Um, so getting that little bit of extra money, I think we actually, uh, may get another force limit point soon, which would be really nice as well. Um, I don't see a point in improving the production value of that province. Um, however, in Moria and Akia, the story might be a little bit different. Um, uh, it'd be 0 .04 instead of 0 .03. And the thing, of course, the thing is we are more likely to build... A manu, you know, like a manufactory building here in uh, Constantinople. Um, so yeah, I don't, I don't know. Let's uh, 2.5 is not great. It's only slightly better, and Constantinople is our capital, you know, capital anyway. Um, but then again, if we save to actually develop Constantinople when we're trying to get an institution, that would, you know, be a good idea as well. So let's go ahead and yeah, let's develop Moria. I think it's got a fort on it. Makes sense. You know, difficult to siege and all that. Let's uh, get two points in that. Um, force limit still the same, I think. Yeah. But we'll get a little bit more cash. Um, slowly expanding. You know, we've developed, I think, five times total now, which is pretty nice. Alright, relations with Poland are at max. We're getting close to getting an alliance with uh, the Hungarians. Which is quite nice.
Ooh, um, I think we'll take monthly autonomy change because uh, tax modifier affects us all the time. Monthly autonomy change doesn't affect us unless we're at war. So I think that's what we do there. Um, we're gonna. I think I'm gonna put two points into Akia as well. Um, still no extra force limit like I would uh, prefer, but what can you do? Answer is not much. This is a much better start, by the way. I think we're going to be able to make this one work. Ooh, we lose 25 mil points. That sucks. All right. Yeah, the nice thing, of course, is that we are starting to make more, uh, more money. So, um, I think I'll just go ahead and develop Constantinople again. I mean, why not? <laughs> Let's just keep dumping points into uh, development. Since we're s the problem is, since we're not actually, you know, expanding. Like, yeah, we could get the temple, but we don't have enough money to actually buy a church yet. So, I think getting more base income makes sense. Though, why our force limit hasn't gone up yet? I'm not sure. Maybe we just need, you know, what? I'm gonna risk it. Maybe 50 is what we need. Maybe not. Okay, I was mistaken. I'm sorry, game. You you sure showed me. I see you want force limit. Well, guess what you're not getting. Oh dear. Poland has got that war down pat. I think we'll sort of act as a buffer between Hungary and Poland. I don't think I don't think Hungary with Austria's help would have attacked anyway, but this is fine. Now, what other diplomatic actions do we want to take here? Do we want to try to expand anywhere? I don't think so. I don't think there's anywhere we really want to go until we actually defeat the Ottomans. So we're just going to keep biding our time here. Oh, hey, cool. Right. I totally forgot about this. So, patriarchal authority changed, and it no longer gives any penalties to have it. So, um, lose 0.5 inflation, of which we have zero, or get patriarch authority. We're going to get patriarch authority. Very nice. Hooray! Point one point six manpower modifier. Yeah. <laughs> Beautiful. Okay, the Renaissance has not happened yet. We need to wait for Poland to be done with his war and Hungary to not be in a war. And then we can attack the Ottomans. But Poland really needs to like hurry this up. Like, get on with it, man. Okay, the Renaissance has happened. The Ottomans have claimed Constantinople. This happens. Um, so lose 10, gain 10 prestige. We currently have 1 prestige. Or lose 15 prestige. Well, we can't really afford to lose the prestige. The missionary strength would be nice, but I feel like this is the better deal. We're going to take the prestige for now. See, now where did the Renaissance appear? It appeared in, uh, well, of course, in Italy, but it appeared specifically in Genoa. Um, but the Renaissance is spreading on its own in our provinces, uh, which is pretty nice. We're, we're only getting 0 0.3 per month, which is fine. I, you know, arguably, I could have waited until uh, you know, the situation changed before we... You know, got something going here. Um, oh, I should totally sign a royal marriage with Athens. I didn't even think about this. Come on. There we go. Alright. Relations have improved. Good. The Ottomans are no longer a valid rival. This is fine. Because we've already got the alliances we need. And we'll go ahead and rival Genoa. No problem. Alright, our general has died. This is tragic, I know. But we get a 1-5. Oh my god, that is so good. I'm glad we rolled him. <laughs> that is crazy. Uh, 50 mil power. Definitely not going to say no to that. Um, the Poles actually losing battles now from the looks of it. Uh, he did sign a peace treaty um, to get out of the war, but wow, that's uh, kind of sad. If we were to attack today, uh, Poland would join, but he does have a lot of war exhaustion, so I do kind of want to wait. Um, before we start this war. When do we lose our cores, anyway? 1594. Okay, we got plenty of time. Okay, that's fine. 
Uh, I don't think we're going to be able to beat the Ottoman fleet. Doesn't really seem likely. Um, but we should build boats. We should build galleys. Like, we just should. Um, but that being said, uh, that's going to be the end of this episode. Thank you for joining me, my fellow Romans, and I'll see you on the next one.